Gameplay The gameplay in Arma differs from classic FPS titles. While it may look like a simple tactical shooter, it can actually be described as a platform or complex military sandbox due to the unlimited possibilities available via modding. As a result, Arma is able to offer multiple types of gameplay that feature its key points. Freedom, authenticity, and a non-player-centric experience. In other words, we don't force players to play the game the way we want them to. Instead, they are able to decide how to achieve the given objectives on their own. The large terrain and variety of available vehicles create an infinite number of situations players can get themselves into, even in one scenario. And this war is not just about combat, because we've also focused on the logistical and communication side of things. That means we've prepared gameplay features which support a rich experience for players, focused on other aspects of war, and allow them to enjoy a multiplayer environment as drivers, radio operators, medics, and engineers. In an effort to make the adventure even more believable, players are expected to use their navigation tool to orient themselves in the terrain. Do not expect useless HUD indicators. We don't want players to waste their time on UI minigames. We want them to live the game. So if you want to experience a believable world that offers freedom of choice and is more than just a game, give Arma Reforger a try. With Arma Reforger, the entire concept of Arma returns to its Cold War roots. Operation Flashpoint was set in 1985, four years after the war between General Guba and U.S. forces on the Malden Archipelago. A global conflict looms once again. We chose 1989 because it was an interesting time when superpowers invested heavily in the military, but combat remained rather straightforward. This type of battlefield... was much easier to depict in an authentic way than modern conflicts. This allows us to focus on the combat as well as on communication and logistics. Reforger takes place on the island of Everon, one of the terrains in Operation Flashpoint. We've reimagined the entire island and tried to create something truly authentic because we want to transport players back to the time of the Cold War. Most of our development team is from the Czech Republic. So, we drew a lot of inspiration from the realities of life in 1980s Czechoslovakia. Older players may recognize a number of things from their youth while exploring Reforger's environment. We also wanted to keep the experience of Reforger unique and down-to-earth. Don't expect a digital battlefield with augmented reality. This is all about the soldier in the field, armed with a radio, map, compass, and assault rifle who must rely on himself and his teammates to fight, communicate, and make critical decisions. There is a tool that lets you make up your own scenarios in real time. It is a sequel to the popular Arma 3 Zeus mode. In the game, there is one person, or possibly more, who can control the mission. They can add new soldiers, new objects, new vehicles, and more. They can control those vehicles and soldiers, give them orders, send players to attack other players. The list goes on. Basically, anything that comes to mind. In Game Master, everything needs to be created from scratch. It's a blank canvas waiting for its Game Masters. Players can customize it, add new objects, add new things to insert, and or add new systems and expand it further. Everything will be instantaneous, in real time, with no saving missions. That's why we've made it so Game Master offers the best possible tools for instant management. But who knows? Modders might find a way around that too. Workshop. Arma Reforger is a community-oriented game. Therefore, enabling user-generated content is key for us. We want to support mod creation and give access to publishing and playing the modded content across platforms. Preparing our own workshop was essential to achieving this goal. The in-game workshop supports the entire mod lifecycle and has been streamlined from Arma 3. As a content creator, you'll be able to publish your mods to the workshop directly. In other words, you don't need to use a separate publishing tool because it's integrated into the development process. Using our unified set of modding tools, you'll be able to upload your mod, set the needed dependencies, and manage it directly in the workshop. As a player, you'll be able to enjoy the integration of modding into the game. 
For example, you won't need to reload the game if you want to join a modded server because it is way more automated now. And of course, our workshop supports all the important functions like subscribing, filtering, sorting, rating, blocking, and reporting mods, as well as joining servers where those mods are present. Workbench. Infusion will provide our players with tools that empower them to either change or extend Armor Reforger and create their own multi-platform content. We worked very hard to make the workflows and tools as simple and as user-friendly as possible. Making mods and add-ons should be a piece of cake for those who have already created them for past Arma titles. Meanwhile, new modders will experience a relatively painless learning curve thanks to the documentation and samples we'll be releasing. We're providing a completely integrated development environment with Infusion. No more text editors when you want to make a change. Our editor understands modding, so you can easily create a new modded file, see the changes you've made, check what other mods are modifying, define dependencies, and enter play mode to immediately experience the changes you've made. The speed of development has increased significantly, while the time needed to create a new terrain has decreased substantially. These are just two of the many added values you'll enjoy using Infusion. Most importantly, Infusion will help close the gap between us and our community like never before, as you'll be able to use the same technology we did while developing Arma Reforger. We can't wait to see what you come up with.